Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. During this video I'll be showing you how you can make your own reflections in Unity and just to show you the final result of what this video is going to be showing you you can see that I have the sphere in the middle of my scene here and you can see that it's reflecting everything around my scene which is basically a couple of cutes, couple of lightings, couple of walls and you can see that whenever I'm moving my player around you can see the reflection of my player updating normally as you'd expect a reflection to be updating in a way to go on top of it for example it will still update that and show it and you can see that uh, how it behaves so it's as you'd expect a reflection to be so let's have a look at how this is done so the first thing you're going to need is using um, you need to create a material that is reflective so you need to go create then create a material and for it to be re reflective it needs to have the metallic and smoothness to one so you can play around with this and see how it changes this so the smoothness is if you were to have it at zero it will be seem like a very rough material and vice versa with the metallic if you have it to zero it seems like um, well the opposite of being metallic if we were to increase it you can see that it's very reflective and it reflects everything and the other thing you're going to need obviously you need to attach this onto well whatever object you have onto your scene that you need to be reflective in my case i have um, a sphere in the middle of my scene and the next thing you're going to need is creating a reflection probe so this is a component that you can actually create by going right click on your heresy going light and then reflection probe or you can add it through it, uh, the components it doesn't really matter and you can create it as a separate game object this is what i did but it doesn't really matter so you can see just an empty object with the transform and a reflection probe and the reflection probe has a kind of range or space that it reflects uh, the area so in my case i just engulfed everything in my room so you can see that the boundaries of the um reflection probe is outside of the walls of my area so this basically captures everything that i want to be covering and reflecting into uh, my reflection probe and using this you are going to be ref everything material that is within this range is going to be reflecting this area basically and for it to be updating the, in real time you need to change the type of it there are different types there is the baked which is essentially uh, baking the reflection without actually updating it during runtime so this will be baked and it won't be responsive to the movements of the player and if you want that you can obviously do that and it will be better in terms of computational uh, performance so when you are doing stuff in real time it will be dropping your fps for example if you have a very uh, expensive game in terms of computation power so be aware of that when you're using real time so in this case i'm using real time you if you want your game to be light and not be computationally expensive you can set it to bake but be aware that this won't be um reflecting during uh, during the runtime it will just be static reflection as you bake it uh, during your scene uh, before actually running the game and there is also the refresh mode that I set to every frame you can set it to on awake or via script I just set it to every frame because it's just easier to track and I don't really uh, change this just the, by default all faces at once and okay so this will basically be updating each frame the reflection around the uh, the area that I set it to be you can also change the importance, the runtime settings. I'm not going to be drilled down into this, but you can have a look at these. Of obviously, for example, you can change the resolution and be um, more uh, high detail, or maybe you can change the HDR to be, uh, if you want again to be light the game, uh, you can untick this and it will be lighter, etc. So you can have a look at settings if you are interested. And just like that, you can drop it near your sphere. You can see that I just place it on top of my sphere and it automatically, automatically uh, reflects, uh, makes my sphere reflect as you saw before. And if, for example, if I were to duplicate my sphere, you can see that this one reflects as well. So any reflective material that you have in your scene is going to be uh, reflecting through the reflection probe. So uh, keep that in mind. So you can see wherever I put it in this area, it's going to be... Um, reflecting onto uh, this but keep in mind that this is going to be reflecting based on the location of the probe so you can see that the uh, it's basically reflecting off of the center so that is something to keep in mind so if i were to run this you'll see that when i get close to the initial sphere and where the probe is 
let's say I get close to this one, you will see that this sphere as well is uh, basically reflecting the same way as this one. So that is something to keep in mind. So you may want to be using multiple uh, probes if you want each one to be unique. Um, but do keep in mind that that will be computationally expensive. There are basically other methods of doing such stuff, but it gets more complicated, so I don't want, want to drill down into that. Hopefully, this will be sufficient for your purposes and that you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to like this video and subscribe onto the channel. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please comment them below. Uh, have a good rest of your day and goodbye.